Welcome to a short HP 50G tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll help you get started making unit conversions with the HP 50G. In another video, I demonstrated similar conversions for the TI Inspire. In comparison, I think the TI will be a bit more intuitive for most people, but once you know the keystrokes, the operations are a bit faster using the HP. Let's get started with a simple conversion. I'll convert one inch to centimeters. Notice on the HP, most buttons have a right shift or orange shift function. The six button is labeled units in orange. So I'll press right shift six to activate the units menu at the top. Now I can choose length and apply the inch unit to the number in the stack. To convert to another length unit, press left shift in the desired unit. Of course, one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. Now I'll try a more complicated unit conversion. Engineers often estimate pump power by multiplying flow rate in gallons per minute by the pressure rise in PSI. I'll make this computation for a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute and a pressure rise of 100 PSI. Scrolling through the unit options, we see there isn't a category for volumetric flow rate. No problem, we can build the unit. Add the gallons unit and then go to the time unit menu. To put the unit in the denominator, press the right shift button before selecting the unit. Now we have 10 gallons per minute in the stack. Next, enter 100, go to the units and select pressure and then apply the PSI unit. So in our first two levels of the stack, we have 10 GPM and 100 PSI. Multiplying these two values yields 1,000 gallons PSI per minute. Next, choose the units menu and go to power. Press the left shift in HP for horsepower. That's fantastic. The minimum pump power is around 0.58 horsepower. Of course, you can build up custom units and save them as variables or programs for quick access. I hope that helps you get started using units on the HP. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.